Hi, welcome to my view of Venice. I'm going to show you two buildings and two paintings you mustn't miss. I start off by looking at one of my favourite buildings, Liverpool's Gothic Cathedral. 11 million bricks, each one is different in a true Gothic style, where the man can be an individual within a theme. In my same city, we've got the, one of the last classical buildings we built in Europe, St George's Hall. A wonderful, wonderful monster of a building in classical style, classical style form, function, strict, and organized building. Why do I tell you about this? Well, look, look at the Doge's Palace, a wonderful Gothic building. Just bizarre in its format, shape, and design. Each of those columns, and we'll come back to those in a moment, is different. But just look at it, pink and white and marble, just fantastic. Very different from the classical. Coming back to those columns, each one is finished differently. The capital is different. In true Gothic tradition, allowing you can innovate within a theme, to, to allowing man to have his touch, quite unlike the classical, where there's only clearly one man in charge who tells everybody else what to do. Very authoritarian. You just have to look to the right now to see in the library. You can see the Gothic, not the Gothic, the classical in action, the form, structure, organisation, Man in control of man, man being disciplined, man and authority, structure, organisation, uniformity. I, th I think it's great to look at the two together on the left, the Gothic with its freedom, innovation within the theme, where man remains an individual but works together. And on the right, the structure, the organisation, the discipline that goes into a, a classical building. And the two sit very incongruously side by side. Now, if we take a few moments to look across the river, or the, or the lagoon, or the bay, or whatever it's called, and you can see that church across the, the Venatore Design Palladium. I'm going to tell you a few, few, a few things about that church, which is really important to me. Now, if we look across the canal, <laughs> and we can see the church of the Venatore, designed by Palladio to celebrate the Venice's delivery from the plague. This is a canonical building in the white western canon, canon, architectural canon. And when you look at the front, it is very classical. The columns, the pediment, it's all there, the white marble. But if you look to the back, look carefully, you can see, is that a, that a dome of a mosque? Are those minarets at the side? You're right. Here, Palladio is, is taking motifs using the vocabulary from Sinan, the Turkish architecture. The Turkish architect, so we're building, building mosques like this. In Turkey, the other side of the, uh, the other side of the canal, and you can see how he, how Palladio uses these ideas. You can see very clearly in this picture. You can see the the dome and even the minarets. And I would argue you see those minarets in lots of lots of so-called canonical buildings today, which serve no other purpose other than decoration, but have their roots in, in Palladio's borrowings from the vocabulary of Sinan, the Turkish architect, who built mosques at the same time as he was building churches in, uh, in, in Venice, in Renaissance Venice. So I look at that, it cheers my soul. The, the, the canon was not just white blokes stealing things from the past. And the class. It was blokes bringing stuff together, being synergistic, bringing stuff together to create something new, which is what art is all about. When you take bits from here, bits from there, and you create something new again. Okay, have a look at the two buildings and the two paintings I wanted to have a look at, both in the Accademia. The first one is by Bellini, or Gentili Bellini. It's the recovery of the relic for the Holy Cross. These are blokes diving into the, the, uh, the canal to find a, a, a piece of the cross that had been thrown in there. And one of them miraculously found the piece and says, I've got it, I've got it. You know, a lot of bold. But anyway... We look very carefully on the right hand side, you see a black boat, a black slave, well, must have been a slave. He's being handed something rather mysteriously by, by a white woman who's about to dive in. I'm sure he's not, well, first, not looking for the relic, but he's in the picture anyway, so we were there. And this is the one you must see, by Vittorio Capaccio. It's almost four meters square, huge picture. And as I said to you, there's, there's the well-known black guy in the front. In fact, a lot of, a lot of people miss that black, because they're not looking for, for a black guy, but we're looking for a black guy. And there's another, well, there's another four in that picture. 
So what I want you to do for me, if you can, get the chance, discreetly or whatever, get find those, well, not find them, we know where they are. If you can get some close-up photographs, that would be fabulous. Look, I've really enjoyed putting this shot together. Sorry it's a bit horrid and, horrid and blah, blah, all that stuff. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed Venice. I look forward to seeing your pictures. Take care. Have a great time.